When this wet winter could delay fire season, but experts say we still have the potential for severe wildfires. As always here in this area, prevention is critical and experts say every Nevadan can do their part to prevent fires. Paul Nelson joins us live from Rattlesnake Mountain this evening. And Paul, what sorts of uh, things can we expect this fire season? Well, it's hard to say, Kristen, but we do know that wet winters generally bring a lot more fuel. And you can see there's already quite a bit of cheatgrass growing out here. Lightning is historically the biggest fire starter in our state, but experts say that's changing. They say we're seeing a lot more human caused fires than we used to. Crews battle wildland fires like these all the time, and experts say they're becoming more prevalent. They say seasonal firefighters used to work about five months. Now they're working seven. That's partly because of people. In the last couple years, we've seen a dramatic increase in human caused fires that, that are very devastating in the acres totals. People started more than half of Nevada's wildfires last year, a 10% jump from the previous year. Target shooting, campfires, and careless use of tools are part of that increase. The safety chains on the trailer, which you want to use, but you want to make sure they don't drag because when they drag, they create sparks and those contribute to fires just as easily as if somebody set it. Governor Sisolak is learning from the experts what our state could face this fire season. He's encouraging Nevadans to do their part. When you enjoy the great outdoors, understand that you know one careless act can cause hundreds of thousands of acres worth of damage and we need to prevent that. Local, state and federal agencies are also working throughout the year to reduce fuels in our forests and wildlands. It's very valuable, critical in some of the high priority areas where we're trying to protect them. So it's really important to continue to maintain those fuel breaks over time. Residents are encouraged to clear flammable materials from their yards to keep fire away from homes. And experts say developers should build new neighborhoods with fire safety in mind because fires can happen at any time. Once we get about a week of 100 degrees, all of this is going to dry up pretty quickly. As you know, this is Steve Sisolak's first fire season as governor, and he says he plans on listening to the experts and taking their advice when the time comes, as well as governors from other western states that we'll be working with. Covering Firewatch Live, Paul Nelson, 2 News.